Hello my crystal loves. So this is Melody with Zen with Gems and I am just doing the sneak peek video for tonight's gem treasure. Uh, it is November 25th and um, the gem treasure starts at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. It's in a Facebook called Zen with Gems Events. It's a group, so um, I also have the link down below so you can join it if um, you haven't already. But um, here is where I just quickly go through and show you um, all the items that will be featured tonight. And um, then tonight at 6, if you want to purchase something, you can, when I post the picture and it'll have the price, you can mark sold. If you're the per first person that marks sold, you get the opportunity to purchase it. So let's get started. So here we have a giant piece of carnelian. It's really, really, really pretty. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Colorado and the kids are out of school. So there's lots of kids playing in my neighborhood and I love the sound of that. It's just gorgeous. I don't know if you can hear them yelling and playing, but it's fun. So, um, beautiful, huge piece of carnelian. Next, which I'm really excited to offer to you, is this beautiful goddess candle holder. It's just made out, it's not made out of a crystal or anything like that. It's probably made out of resin of some type, but I just wanted to offer it to you today. Beautiful. You can put a little tea light candle up here on the top of her. See how pretty she is? And she's pretty good size. Beautiful. Oh, and look, there's like a little squirrel down there at the bottom. How cute is that? Next is, I've had a lot of people actually private message me about this Labradorite um, uh, generator point. Um, and it is so gorgeous. This is the only one I have. So if you've been wanting a good size piece of Labradorite um, as a, you know, to put in your altar or sacred space, um, this is the only piece I have and it's gorgeous. It has a lot of flash on it. I don't know if you're able to see it all in here. Sometimes it's hard to always get the flash to come through. But it's, oh, look at that. Stunning, right? So it's a good size. There it is in my hand. So you get an idea of how big it is. Really, really good size. The next we have a um, fluorite generator point as well. See the beautiful blue crystal green purple color in there? It's just gorgeous. It's pretty good size. There it is in my hand. I love fluorite gorgeous. Then we have a really nice specimen piece of pink uh, cobalto calcite. Don't you just want to crawl in there? It's just this yummy baby pink beautiful beautiful stone. And this is like a pretty good sized piece. The back and the bottom. Absolutely love this piece. Just gorgeous. Then we have an, um, a palm stone of Labradorite. And this one has a lot of flash on it. So I hope you're able to see all of it. It's just amazing, the flash on here. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, you've asked for more of the blue agate heart. So here's one. Um, this one has a nice huge cavern in there. It's actually a really good size. You can kind of actually see in it. I think like pieces like that are just incredible. Kind of see through it there. It's really, really pretty. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. 
Then we have a septarian heart. Now this piece has like a fun little druzy area right here. Um, can you see in there? It's rough. It's not polished. Really pretty. Here's the other side of it. Gorgeous. Pretty good size. Beautiful piece. Then we have a soapstone dolphin. Look how cute he is. So pretty. Just really pretty. And last but not least, we have a little um, polar bear soapstone animal. Could maybe also be a bear, but I think it's more like a polar bear, so. That's what I'm calling him. He's really, really pretty. So there you have everything. So make sure to join us tonight. Like I said, at 6 p.m. on Facebook. It's under Zen with Gems events. And um, the information will be posted as well down at the bottom. Just quickly going to have you look at everything again. All right, my crystal loves, many blessings. Bye.